Technology for at least 200 years has been destroying jobs and it's also been creating jobs. But recently there's been an acceleration around the second machine age and especially just the past five or 10 years with big data and other new breakthroughs in artificial intelligence that have rapidly sped up the ability of machines to do things that previously only humans could do. These are just the warm-up acts, the beginning of an even bigger set of changes in the next decade or two. We foresee at least two broad categories of changes that are already beginning to happen. One we call the bounty, and the other one we call the spread. The bounty is the idea that we will have vastly more wealth and productivity and income. We have record levels of wealth in the United States and other Western countries, but we're also seeing that income distribution is spreading out. Some people are becoming much wealthier and other people are beginning to fall behind. But what's happened is that most of that additional income has gone to a very small group of people, maybe 1% of the people. If you look at the data, the share of people working, the employment to population ratio has been falling. In particular, people who do routine information processing work have been hit the hardest, like a, a clerk or a tax preparer, um, a secretary. And as the machines get these additional capabilities, the humans who have been focusing on those tasks will have to find something else to do because you don't want to be competing against a machine. The good thing about the second machine age is that we're going to produce far more wealth and income. Productivity will be higher but we will also have less demand for human labor in many areas. In that case, we are faced with a dilemma because the basic way that most societies work is that humans trade their labor for income. And if labor becomes less valuable, then it's harder to see how that system will work. Where will they get the income? Will we have to think of some other way for them to get the income? Will there perhaps be uh, a basic income? But it's a dilemma that we're gonna have to confront um, because it, it should be good news that we can create more wealth with less work, but it won't be good news if we don't make adjustments to our society and our institutions.